Next to me, you will find a $1,500 pre-built gaming PC. Before anyone starts to flame me in the comment section down below, why do you have a pre-built gaming PC? Why didn't you just make your own gaming PC? Why didn't you buy parts to make a gaming PC? Why didn't you... This video is meant for you guys and specifically for other people who don't necessarily want to build a gaming PC nor have the budget to build a gaming PC or rather just like me, a pre-built gaming PC is just more than enough. So right here next to me, this is the $1,500 pre-built gaming PC in an armory case. Now I've been using this PC for approximately a year now. It's been quite some time and I've actually really enjoyed using this gaming PC. Quite simply, it's great. So before I jump into the specifics of the PC, which you guys are probably wondering why I bought this one specifically, I could have built my own PC. I could have bought parts. I could have bought a case and I could have constructed the whole thing. It sounded like fun and I would have liked to do that, but I realized in the process that it would be a lot of investment, it would be a lot of time and money spent on something that doesn't actually hold that much importance to me. I wanted a machine that was going to get the job done and that was going to allow me to play games on good, high quality graphics, but I didn't really want to spend time building a gaming PC. And that's totally okay. Most people, you know, if you're a gaming PC nerd, you would probably flame me or you'd probably flame anyone who for buying a pre-built gaming PC because sometimes, you know, you're getting a machine, it lacks components. There's one good thing about the machine and everything else kind of sucks. But this one, it's right in the middle. I think it is a great bang for your buck. It has fantastic value. So let's jump into the specifics of this machine. It has a really nice white frame and a white case. This is something that was one of the main criteria on my list. I wanted a nice, clean, white gaming PC. You can buy your own case. This one just happened to have a white case. It's great. It also has a removable panel. It's great. It's tinted and it allows to see everything inside of the PC. It has RGB, something that I wanted. Not necessarily a main factor of the PC, but it's this one had it and I was like, this is great. I already wanted RGB. It comes with it, but it's not about the flashy colors of the RGB and the fans. It's not about the case. So it's white, it's black, it's brown, it's multicolored. It doesn't really matter. The important part of the PC at the root of it is the components. So it has a GeForce RTX 3060, which is actually really, really good. And on top of that, we are also looking at a one terabyte SSD. It's great. There's more than, enough, more than enough storage in there to store your games, to store files, footage. Now I think that one terabyte SSD is great. It's just the perfect sweet spot nowadays. Games can be pretty heavy. So you have games like Call of Duty that you'll require like 200, 300 gigs. You can download that on a separate hard drive, or if you want it to run super smooth, you can download it on the SSD, but you have a one terabyte. It's more than enough to handle basically everything, anything. So it also has 16 gigabytes of RAM. It has two individual eight gigabytes sticks of DDR RAM that are RGB custom, and it's great. It all matches in, it all ties in together. So powering this machine is an AMD Ryzen 5 5600. It is a great processor, okay? It's not the best on the market. There's an AMD Ryzen 7, there's AMD Ryzen 9. There are some better processors out there. I know Intel has their Intel Core 9 and Intel Core 12. There's far better processors out there, but they will run you a lot of more money. And the point is the AMD Ryzen 5 powers this machine really, really well. It, it's great. You know, you can run multiple games. I've run Overwatch, I've run Battlefield, I have run things of that nature. I have run like, you know, League of Legends, but those are, you know, candy games. They're really easy to run. You can run them on a potato at this point. The point is it handles basically any kind of game. I've also played Call of Duty. All of these were played on high graphics and I've had no issues really on a widescreen on, you know, the max resolutions and it's been good. The graphics card performs well. The AMD Ryzen handles basically anything. Speaking of games, this is one I have found myself playing a lot lately. I must have dumped a few good hours in it. Moonlight Blade is an action-packed MMORPG that is totally free to play. Starting with over five factions, you can choose your character to be a part of. Once you have customized your character, you are plunged into this beautiful vast open world filled with exciting adventures set in an ancient Chinese environment. The gameplay is actually really fun and easily addictive. The graphics are stunning and for a free to play game that is available on multiple platforms, it looks really, really good. And let me just say the cutscenes are cinematic and so nice to watch. There are more than 600 unique items to customize your character and even more to customize your in-game look. I think I've seen about a thousand plus items, so there's really an infinite amount of possibilities, but don't just take my word for it. Go ahead and download the game and give it a shot. Maybe one day we can actually play together. That'd be really fun. Now, if you're in a situation that you wanted to handle some productivity tasks, you can also do that. It's great. It has a good multi-core function. Overall, everything packaged into this machine for $1,500, it's good. It has a beautiful design. It looks really clean, actually. It has a decent amount of ports. It also comes with a little 
Wi-Fi adapter inside because the uh, initial chip inside is actually kind of garbage. So don't use it. Use the adapter. It came in the box. So that's great. I didn't have to buy it. Very easy plug and play. And it really enhanced my connectivity in terms of Wi-Fi. I've been able to capture some really good speeds to the point where as a lot of games, I didn't even need to play with a LAN cable because that's how good the adapter was. You can even customize the machine. I've put a little pop figure in there. As you'll see, I have a Goku. I sometimes switch it out. I'll put like my Vegeta pop figure. And look, for the purpose of this video, I even put my Naruto figurine in there, which is a little bigger, just to show you that there's space in there. You can customize it with the RGB lights and the beautiful clean white case and the tinted glass that is removable. I think this is a really clean, simple, beautiful machine that also delivers power and gets the job done. This is why I bought this machine. I didn't necessarily want to spend a good two, three weeks, or maybe even more looking for the right pieces, you know, spending a lot of money on something that I don't use that much. That's the reality of things. I don't use the gaming PC that much. I only use it on the occasion. I play some games here and there. A lot of times I actually play games by myself because most of the time when I do have gaming sessions with the guys, we're playing on the PlayStation 5. So this is the perfect machine for me. Now, obviously some of you guys will say it's trash, it's garbage, don't buy it. That's your opinion. I think everyone is entitled to that. But let me know what you think of this gaming PC for $1,500. Would you buy it? Would you not buy it? Would you stay away from it? Have you built your own gaming PC? I'm curious to know. Let me know in the comment section down below as I'm always curious to kind of have a conversation with you guys. Now, for that being said, if you're trying to pick one of these up, I will be leaving a link in the description down below. All right, guys, so I have to pop in real quick because my camera had died on the last recording, but thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure you let me know what you think about the gaming PC. Is it good? Is it bad? Would you pick up a pre-built or would you just stick to making your own PC? I actually would like to maybe build in the future, maybe build a nice gaming PC for you guys on the channel just for the purpose of the video. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you do end up getting Moonlight Blade. We could actually play some time. Make sure you let me know in the comment section down below if you've got it and we can connect one of these days and hop on. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys on the next one. As always, I wish you the best of luck in everything you do and I'll see you on the next one. Deuces.